Let's start by taking a look at the front of the unit. Here you can see we have the company logo, Allen Bradley, and underneath it we have the Micrologix 1000 logo. And under that we have a brief description on the type of inputs and outputs this unit has. Now let's look at the top left and you'll see the indicator lights for the digital inputs. Underneath those you'll see a power, run, fault, and force indicator. And then at the bottom you'll see the output indicators. Now let me go ahead and zoom in for a few seconds so anybody viewing on a smaller screen can see all the details. And now let's take a look at the top and the bottom of this unit. You can see that they're vented to allow for heat dissipation and it's very important that you don't mount anything within two inches of this unit so it gets enough airflow. It's also very important that you don't let any metal filings or wire strands fall into the unit because they can get lodged in the circuit board and destroy the unit. On the left side we have the product label which let's go ahead and zoom in on that. You can see the part number of my unit here is a 1761L10 BWA. You can also see the series and rev of my unit. Also listed are some more details about the electrical properties of the inputs, the outputs, and the power rating for this micro. And on the back of the unit we can see there's a spring action clip for DIN rail mounting as well as two mounting holes if you just want to surface mount it which would typically be to the back panel of an electrical enclosure. And on the right side you can see some additional venting for uh, heat dissipation.